How's it going everybody? Maniac here with the Mage's Archive and today we are going back in time. Back in time to a time where, you know, uh, the magic standard didn't suck. That's right, we're going back to, oh wait, it sucked here too, didn't it? Oh well, let's, uh, we're going to enjoy some uh, Born of the Gods pre-release kits. Um, these are going to give us some Born of the Gods and Theros booster packs. Yes. Fun, fun stuff. Let's crack these open. I know I've done a set of these um, several months ago, but they were fairly fun, I thought. Don't want to... Uh... Okay. Okay, I, I thought that was the, uh, the pre-release for there for a second. I was like, no, 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 I don't want to show that. Trying to make sure that the pre-release packs are upside down, because uh, you know that's 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 some of the fun, right? That is some of the fun. We're gonna do a nine. Okay, well oh, that that's that's a thirteen. And uh, if you're curious, I'll put that up there. You can pause the video and read. There we go. All right, crack open uh, the destined. To conquer here. Try to get these open as quick as possible. There you go. Here's Destin the Conquer. You can pause that if you would like to read it. Uh, yeah, there's stuff can go in the trash. There's some more Theros. Okay, that's the hero card. That's that's not a reveal. Don't worry. Uh, 14. Oh, 11. Okay. That's just these little things here. There's nothing special. Nothing special in there. Probably nothing special in these either, but you know, it's fun, right? You get to see some of the older stuff. Let me get some of the the older gods. There you go. There's Destined to Dominate. If you want to read that. Oh. And this is going to be a four. Oh, one. Damn. Maniac is not on a roll. Or I guess you could say I'm on a roll of not rolling. There's Destined Outwit if you wanted to read that. And uh, this is going to be a nine. Seventeen. And the last one here is destined to lead. I know I should probably like, you know, crack these open, pause that if you want to see it, you know, beforehand, but I feel like people like knowing that the boxes are opened right then and there, that they're not seated or anything like that. So, you know, 19, oh, that was an eight. So, I didn't get a single roll there, so that's uh, I don't know, it's kind of showing where where my luck is already. So, uh, yeah, um, these are all upside down. That one is upside down as well. So, if you don't know the uh, these older sets here, um, even though it was a Born of the Gods pre-release, you only got two Born of the Gods packs and three Theros packs per pre-release kit but you also got these these are seeded packs so they're they're i guess thematic in a way or something but um they have the pre-release foil in it and they'll still have like a you know a, a mythic or rare or, or whatnot in them so we're gonna save those for last it's kind of like a, how how pokemon is so let's, let's knock born of the gods out of the way since most of the goodies, if we find anything, are going to be in Theros. Alright. I mean, there are still some goodies in Board of the Gods, but there are more in Theros, so. Alright, look at that. Look at that old cardboard. Mm, yep, smells like old cardboard, too. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, 
I can't be the only one who, you know, smells his cards. You telling me none of you have ever smelled your cards? So our first rare here is a faded intervention. And nope, nothing back there. And God, how pretty that is. I like it. So I'm gonna put the other uh, lands away. And uh if I remember correctly, most of the value in both sets are going to be in the mythic slot. There are a few rares, you know, like Thoughtseize, um, stuff like that. But uh, most of it will be our orange symbols. I think there's a, a few uncommons that are have a little bit of value too, if I remember. An Eater of Hope for our second rare. And just a planes and a centaur. Centaur riding along on the planes. Yes, sir. -y. Bob. All right. Let's see what else we got here. That's like the duplicate city right there. And a cedar a fire dancer. And nope, just a mountain. Just a mountain. See, and the weird thing, well, like it feels really weird because it hasn't been this way in some time, but when you open a set like this, you're actually hoping for foil because the foils are actually worth more than the non-foils in these. I know, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Fellhide Spirit Binder. And nope, just a swamp. Just a swamp. Alright. So far, things are not doing so great here. We have not pulled anything spectacular here. Nope, another faded intervention. Okay, um, it really wants me to, to have that. And no foil. Oh, starting to feel like these Born of the Gods packs are going to be a big fat bust. So the last time I opened these uh, a similar set, like it was pretty, pretty beast mode. Ooh, here we go. We got ourselves a Mogus God of Slaughter. If I'm not mistaken, that one is still holding up there. We'll find out here once everything is all said and done. Unless something happened to it. Hope not. Been a while since I really checked values. On the old Theros and Born of the Gods. Okay. And our next rare slot is going to be a Hero's Podium. Not a bad looking card there. Don't recall if it uh, holds any value. Each legendary creature you control gets one, one for each other legendary creature you control. Oh, that's, that's kind of interesting. Okay, so, turning through our uncommons here, and a faded return. So, at least it's not another uh, faded intervention, right? And then a swamp. I don't think any of those faded cards uh, are really much of anything. Kind of like the interventions, I guess. These are just... I'm not, I don't think I'm holding them that tight. They're, they, they definitely have like a little bit of a bow to them. You see that? Okay. 
deck does feel a little thick, though. There might be a foil in this one. Got a Whims of Fate. Followed by a Pain Seer foil. Look at that. Got ourselves a rare foil. Curious to see the uh, the value on that. Very nice. So that, that explains the, uh, the curvature. That one foil in there was making the whole pack curl. That is crazy. Like, like I know foil curling is, you know, kind of rough. So I guess now that's how we'll know if we have a foil. Let's look for the curvature in the stack of cards. And another Cedar Fire Dancer. Followed by a Rise to the Challenge. Common foil. Nothing too crazy, but pretty nonetheless. I don't know if you noticed, that one had a bit of a curve too. Alright. Time for Theros. Let's see if we can get some goodies. Well, you know what? Because I forgot. We'll, 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 we'll do the commons one-on-one because -on -one, I don't remember if there's any uh, common value. Swan Song. Not too bad, if I'm mistaken. That one's still got some value in her. Um, oh, the land. Not a foil. Just a land. Just a land. One thing, though, like... Especially with the uh, the Oro ban, I don't see our modern Theros making a comeback like the older one. Ooh, Xenagos, the Reveler, 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 Reveler. Mm hmm. Check this guy out. And no, no foil. No foil. Thought I felt a bit of a curve in that pack. Okay. So far, two mythics out of this. It's pretty good. Definitely no complaints there, and we're barely all the way through it. There's an Arbor Colossus. And nothing. No foil. I'm curious, though. I kind of want to... We should probably check the curvature of the cards before each one and see if we can guess if there's a foil in this one. Uh, nope, no foil in this one. Kind of curious to see uh, if we end up right or not. And a Prophet of Cruffix. Check that out. Followed by a regular island. And let's see, any curve? Nope, looks pretty straight. Looks pretty straight to me. And in this one, we've got a Temple of Silence. I mean, modern temples? Meh, but. That old school art, very pretty. Oh, check that out. Um, oops, I almost put that over there. We got ourselves an Elspeth emblem. Very nice. I'm not sure if the emblems in the set have value or not. Still cool to grab though. Let's see if we got a. Uh, any curve in this one? Oh, a little bit. Yeah, look at that. So I think there's a foil in this one. Alright. And our rare artisan of forms. Followed by... No, no foil. Okay. So, I guess that, uh... Ruins that theory. 
Unless it was caused by the pack that it was sitting on. No curve in that one. Alright. And this one we have a Shipbreaker Kraken. And just a mountain. It's just a mountain. Just a little low mountain behind the Kraken. But yeah, I mean, if you guys are looking for uh, a set of these, like, they're fairly cheap. Um, I, think, I believe I picked this set up off of uh, Amazon and it was uh, $70 I think for the whole set shipped ooh there's our thought sees very very nice look at that he's excited too yep and behind that is a Guardians of Melodus and foil that is a very, very pretty foil there. I like it. Even though it's a common, like, it's really, really pretty. Okay, so what do we got? We got. So we got, after this one, we have six to go. And then we get to our um, other packs there. Their name is uh, evading me right now. Little a Labyrinth Champion. And a lovely forest. I'm going to move these commons out of the way. The stack is getting a little, a little large. I don't want it to mess with our packs there. I was trying not to like have the commons on camera anyway. Oh, there's a bit of a curve in this one. So, no, never mind. Never mind. No, there isn't. Never mind. Ooh. Trying to uh, bend cards. Alright. Let's not destroy the cards, Miniac. Ooh. Ourselves a little master of waves. Nice little mythic there. We are sitting at three mythics already. We still have a decent amount of packs left. You know, standard booster box. We definitely could not hope for another mythic, but in this, there's definitely a chance for it. And next up, is oh, another Temple of Silence. Alright. Really, uh, I think this is uh, Magic's or Wizard's way of just, you know, shut up, Maniac. Open the cards and shut up. <laughs> you guys agree? A steam augury. Nice little rare there. Followed by a forest. Three to go. And then we get to our seeded packs. Still plenty of goodies to come. Come on. Okay, that, that looked like it was like almost a weird um, mishmash or something. But uh, yeah, there's our psychic intrusion and then just an island. I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, Wizards is kind of getting hammered right now on Twitter. But like, like the, the Walking Dead thing really doesn't bother me that much, but... The thing that really bothers me is all of the uh, 
Ooh. Hythonia the Cruel. Another mythic there. That is four mythics. Very nice. Oh, and a Glare of Heresy. Apparently, we are now in the Warhammer universe. A little Glare of Heresy foil there. Uncommon. But I... But, yeah, the, the whole Zendikar Rising release... I don't know if you guys had noticed this or realized this, but you know they, they were really loaded down, you know, places like Amazon with uh, set boosters and collector boosters and whatnot. While local game stores really didn't get much. A little Fable Hero there, and nope, just the plans. And. Uh, Bundles. The Zendikar Rising, you know, just uh, nothing. They're nothing crazy, you know. They're just the little ten pack bundles with foil hands, you know. They're definitely nothing special. And uh, no game store could get them. No one. But Walmart's got them on their shelves. Target's got them on their shelves. Not game stores though. So our pre-release foil is a Silent Sentinel. Too shabby. Followed by oh. oh that's right. I think the um if there is gonna be a rare myth, I think it's in the back still. Nope, nope, it's right there. Eidolon of countless battles for our rare on that one. Then everything else is pretty normal. Yep, so yep. And the rest should be all commons. Yep, okay. But yeah, like that was definitely something that irked me. I know it irked a lot of other people too. I mean, it's it's it. Yeah. Next is an eater of hope for our pre-release foil in this pack. Don't know. Uh, how these are holding value off the top of my head, but we will definitely uh, see post edit. And a guild. And uh, yeah, just our uncommons. And that's it. Three to go. Ooh, I almost flipped that all the way over. And I, I could tell it was a blue, I didn't see what it was, but our next one is. An Arbiter of the Ideal. I kind of feel like I should open them first. <laughs> open, then reveal. It's a little weird once, uh, since it's clear and you can see right through it. There you go. And a Mind Reaver. And yes, you can very much pull... A mythic, so so like you could pull, you know, a a Thassa as your pre-release card, and then right behind it, pull another Thassa as just you know the next card. Like that was definitely one of the, the cool things about this. I mean, I, I guess it's it's still similar to you know your standard packs, but um, difference being that the uh, Oops, I almost did it. The um, it's more thematic. So next is a Forge Stoker Dragon. That's definitely pretty in the foliage there. Followed by a Felhide Spearbinder. Some uh, regular old own camions in our last seeded pack. Let's see if this one contains all of the gold. We've got a Nessen Wilds Ravager and the pre release foil. And our last rare mythic is. Ooh, Karametra, God of Harvests. 
Not too bad. At least uh, we ended it on a mythic. Definitely not the, the greatest of the gods or the mythics, but one nonetheless. And that is it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We still ended on five mythics, which, I mean, Clunder Boosters, you know, nowadays people are like, what? Only five? But for this, this is pretty awesome. I mean, if you were to open a freaking booster box of Theros, Born of the Gods, and if you got two mythics, you're happy. But, uh, yeah, hope, hope you liked it. And if you did, and you want to see more of stuff like this, let me know, and uh, we'll, make, we'll make it happen. And until next time, take it easy.